calm before the storm. Yeah, there's a storm coming here in Florida. This is my motorized bike that I built. So what it is, I got the bike free from my neighbor. He lives across the street there. He gave me the bike, and he gave me an engine, believe it or not. The Wee Whacker engine. Uh, smoke went across the camera. Yep, smoke it. But yeah, he gave me that, and the bike. And I decided to do something cool with it. To show him I appreciate it. Because he enjoys watching me work on stuff. Like build my trike, and build my go-kart. Which I will put in videos if you guys like, and you guys, you know, enjoy this one. So basically what, what happened here is I started with just a piece of metal here. I'm going to try to go quick so I don't run out of time. started with a piece of metal here and I bent the metal. I, I, I put that at uh, Lowe's Hardware. That piece of metal I bolted the engine to. At that point, I, I well, I bolted that piece of metal correction to a door hinge here. This door hinge right here, I put here. Here's the door hinge. I rested it there. I did not want to try to weld because, well, you, this is a aluminum frame. I could not weld. Um, so I then bolted a piece underneath it, right here, to actually bolt through, like this, through, and hold the door hinge to the bicycle. Simple enough. This is a bicycle peg that I uh, used the original factory stuff and bolted right to it. I used two bolts together to lock them together to hold it on nice and strong. <clears throat> I did not cut any of the flywheels off, no. I put a turnbuckle, I bought a turnbuckle at Ace Hardware. It cost me like $5 or $6 or something around there. I have the price in the thing. I don't remember right now. After that, I thought that would be strong enough. Just added the two pieces. It was not. So um, unfortunately, I had to make my no weld bike into a weld. That is starting to rain right now. This video is gonna have to get cut short, most likely. This is how the bike goes. I'll show a riding video eventually, as soon as I can. Here is a kill switch I wired up, ran the wire, ran the cable over here, cable I connected in a crazy kind of fashion because this is basically a four hour job that I did. It took me no longer than four hours to build this project. I did it as quick as I could. Throttle right here, pull the lever, boom, operates the throttle. Runs straight through there, spring brings it back up, done. Adjust it on the tire right here with your turnbuckle as seen on another YouTube video. Yes, I took the idea. This is bent. Right here, this piece, because uh, originally <clears throat> the idea of not having this piece here caused it to, well, no, I take that back. That was not the cause. Cause of my stupidity, I did not tighten those bolts. Yes, that was it. Having this piece right here would just work alone. You don't need that piece right there. You do not need that angle piece. You can just bolt together like I just showed originally there. It is starting to rain. This video is over. Thank you. Please subscribe and like.